It's a bird. It's a plane. No. Da -da 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 -da. It's some motherfucking Bitcoin dog. Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to look at Bitcoin dogs and how you can get involved in farming on the site for an incredible APY. This is something that uh, we want all of you guys to take advantage of and currently 400% APY available. Head on over. Uh, you are going to need, if you are on Bitcoin, uh, on ODOG on BRC20, you are going to need to access that in one of your wallets. So my wallet here is in Unisat. You can see that I have uh, 24,000 ODOG and I'm going to show you how I can get that into the farm and earn in those juicy APY rewards. So I'm starting with 24,000 ODOG. It's there in my Unisat wallet. Uh, you could withdraw it off uh, your exchange into a wallet. That's probably the easiest way. Now, if you have ODOG on ETH, you can skip uh, pretty much through three quarters of this video and I will show you how to do that. Otherwise, this is first initial piece is for people who are using BRC20 ODOG. So we're going to go on to uh, the multi-bit bridge, okay? And what we're going to do is we need to bridge our ODOG over onto Ethereum so that we can then stake it in the farm. So we're choosing Ethereum, ODOG, and we are using our Bitcoin wallet to do that. We're gonna connect the wallet on Bitcoin. And once that happens, wallet's connected, uh, and I've signed the request. At that point, the multi-bit bridge is at, is at is connected now this is a little bit complicated okay so let's just take our time first off we've got to inscribe the ordinal so that we can withdraw it and once we've hit that verification and signed the request and we click next and I've just obviously put in the entirety of my 24,000 ODOG at that point sign that click next just making sure everything's correct before we proceed. Click next and sign. And we'll see that obviously that will take a little bit of fee to make it happen, okay? So once this happens, this is not the quickest process, okay? So this is where a lot of people get stuck. You are gonna have to sign this and then wait and once we've done it, it might take 15, 20 minutes, okay? So we can then come back. Once we've waited, come back, and you then go in, select ODOG, and we go to withdraw again, okay? And you'll then see, so once we click this, we need to just wait a second. You can now see the ODOG is inscribed and ready to uh, be moved off. Okay, so we're now going to withdraw this inscription and it's going to let us to allow it to come across and bridge onto ERC20. So again, we take our time, make sure we've got it all right. This is always, um, you know, people worry about doing this sort of thing. Make sure it's your wallet that's connected. Um, check that you're transferring it to uh, your Ethereum address. Okay. So at this point we confirm and we have a small fee again. And at that point we are ready to withdraw. Now what you're going to have to do is come back to Multibit and look in this history section. Now, this is what takes about 15, 20 minutes. It will then appear here. So don't panic if it hasn't appeared immediately because some people think, oh, I've just lost my ODOG. You haven't. Just wait for it to appear in this point. 
you are then going to enter your Ethereum address in wallet address. I'm using MetaMask in this example. So I'm copying my MetaMask wallet address and dropping it here into the withdrawal field. So clearly just make sure that is your wallet address. You've just copied it, should be fine. And then you can see the 24,000 uh, ODOG that I'm going to now remove onto the Ethereum chain. So when we click withdraw here, it's obviously going to ask us to sign and just wait a second, let MetaMask do its thing. It's going to ask you for a fee because you're now withdrawing onto Ethereum. There'll be a small amount of ETH you've got to pay. Uh, accept that and it may take uh, a couple of minutes. You're going to get the spinning wheel, etc. Just wait, be patient and then you should get a success message. So just bear with us. Okay, there we go. Congratulations, we've managed to withdraw uh, our Bitcoin dogs, ODOG, onto ETH. Now, we should then, if we go back to our other wallet, our Ethereum wallet, and we check the tokens, and we can see if we just search for ODOG. So put in zero dog there, and we can see the token, add it in, and ta-da. Right, now we have ODOG on ETH, on ERC20. So we're getting somewhere. Those of you that have joined the video at this point and already have ODOG on ETH, and obviously you could go and buy ODOG on ETH and shortcut, shortcut a lot of this process. So now we head on over to Uniswap. We get there by going to the ODOG site, Bitcoin Dog site, choose um, add to the farm, it will bring you to the Uniswap site. It will populate with the tokens already. Add the amount of ODOG and ETH you want to add and approve that in your wallet. You will need to have an equal amount in terms of value of ODOG and ETH to pair it together. So you are pairing the ODOG token with an equal amount of ETH in value, okay? Don't forget to leave enough ETH to pay your gas fee because a lot of people, the mistake they make is they try and pair up all of their ETH in their wallet and therefore it doesn't um, go through because there's nothing left for gas. You are then provided with a, an LP token and the LP token is ODOG ETH. Okay, that is the LP that you've added on Uniswap. Now at that point, you're not done. Okay, you have got the LP token in your wallet. It is a different token, it's an LP token, and that is the token that we are now able to farm. So what we do now is we head back on over to the ODOG site, or Bitcoin Dog site. So now we can see, look, added liquidity. Once we get the message to say liquidity has been added, if you want, you can come and track that transaction on Etherscan, just to prove everything went through, you got success, and you were provided with an LP token. Um, for those of you that want to dive a little bit further into how the blockchain, blockchain works. We then head back to the Bitcoin Dog site. We go start farming and we will see if we connect our wallet. You can see there's currently 419% APY available. We click connect and choose our wallet. And at the point we've connected the wallet, we will then be able to submit or join the farm. Okay, so we're going to enter, I'm going to enter max amount. I've got 15.98 and multiple decibels uh, of LP token. Click submit, sign to say that you're prepared to release this token into the pool and approve the transaction. Obviously that will cost you a small amount of ETH as well. And now just be patient for a second. So we can currently see there are 771 LP tokens in this farm. Just be patient. It takes a minute as don't panic. Like with all of these types of things, you're waiting for the transaction to hit the blockchain. Once that's done, we then can just wait for a minute, update the site, refresh the page, and then you will see your staked tokens in the farm and at that point it's all good 
you can come back and withdraw once you're ready but in the meantime you are getting those juicy rewards that we always promised you guys it's a bird it's a plane no da -da 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 -da. it's some motherfucking bitcoin dog